You're on. Okay. Have you guys ever dreamed of getting big, have a good physical appearance, you know, feel good about yourself? Well, I've come to talk to you about my topic today, which is steroids. This is a picture of a pill taken from GoTeamJones.com. Steroids can either be injected or swallowed by mouth. It's usually more common for people to take them by pill. Um, a more typical type of uh, steroids is HGH. A lot of professional baseball players use them. Um, I first became interested in this topic when I saw all these like sports icons, professional players, break all these amazing records, and then like years later, they admitted to openly just taking steroids. You know, basically the record was helped by just a pill or injected. And I want to talk to you today about how steroids have effects on people, the body, and then the side effects of them. And let's take a look at some sports players who took steroids. This is Mark McGuire. He was a St. Louis Cardinals baseball player. Had over 570 home runs, you know. He also had the record of 70 home runs in one season, which was the most at that time. But then later in his career, he openly admitted to taking steroids. So those records were just completely banished. And then you have another picture of Barry Bonds from NPR.org, and he has the most home runs in baseball history at 762. And then he also beat Mark McGuire's record. He had 73 home runs in one season. He was a San Francisco Giants player. He also admitted to taking steroids too, but his home run record still stands today. Then you also have a picture of Roger Clemens taken from Esquire.com. He was a New York Yankees player and a Houston Astros player, pitcher. He won a couple of Cy Youngs in the World Series. He also openly admitted to taking steroids and his records were gone. But he also denied it too, so he had more serious charges. Then you have a picture of Lance Armstrong from TotallyCoolPicks.com. He won seven Tour de France titles. He's a cyclist rider. He won five in a row. As you can see, he's holding a five on there. Um, but then later this past year, he just openly admitted to taking steroids, and his records are all gone now. And then you have a picture of David Ortiz, or Big Poppy. Um, he's from the Boston Red Sox. He's currently playing right now. He has won a couple of World Series. He also took steroids, and a lot of people look at him differently now because of it. And then you have Alex Rodriguez. He is a player. He played for the Texas Rangers, and now he plays for the New York Yankees. And he is a great shortstop, and now he plays third base. He also um, admitted to taking steroids. So a lot of his records and what he was famous for is pretty much gone. And now I want to tell you what steroids can do to you. Good effects. It can make you big, like a big physical appearance, you know. And it's easy to inject. It takes a couple of weeks to take effect. You feel good about yourself. You can perform at a higher level than you ever could. Um, like I said, records like those before, you can easily shatter maybe. You just feel good about yourself, you know. And then I want to take a look at some bad effects of steroids. You have like headaches. This is all men. Headaches, baldness, stroke and blood clots. And you have high blood pressure and heart disease. It can even kill you if you're not careful. Nausea, bloating, impotence, reduced sperm count. You have liver damage. You get roid rage. People get like really mad easily, start breaking stuff. And you get severe acne, you get on your face, your back, and all over the place. And then you have enlarged prostate, like I said, aggressive behavior. And then you can get injuries and all that stuff. And then it, uh, you also grow breasts, too. And then in women, you get reduced breasts. You get a deep voice, so you sound like a man. Um, then you get facial hair and all this stuff. And Steroids can do so many things to you, but yet people still take them. Um, they can also cause mood swings, you know, like one minute you're happy, the next minute you're really sad, so it could cause bipolarness. And then um, also steroids just, like get you huge, but once 
once that happens, like later in your career, the effects after take a long toll on you. All these things start happening to you. So those people that I showed you earlier, all these records that were shattered, then later in the years, they just start getting like happy, then they start developing uh, these symptoms, and then you wonder, was it really worth it? So the next time you like see all these baseball players or professional players break these amazing records, you should just wonder to yourself, did they do it without taking a pill, or did they use steroids to help them? Thank you. Thank you.